Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another edition of the Spotlight Ravens series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University, and joining us from the volleyball team is Alexis Sorrell. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Alexis is entering her junior season. She, um, she received academic all HCAC honors last year. Um, she put together 13 kills, 22 assists, and 26 digs and 14 sets last season. So first, to kick things off, what is your major and minor? Um, my major is national security and my minor is psychology. Okay. Who is your inspiration and why? Um, I would say my mom, just because of how strong and hardworking she is, and she's very resilient. Okay. What is your driving force slash motivation? Um, to always be hardworking and to put forth the best effort that I can. Um, I would say just working for what I want. All right. Um, what is your favorite aspect about sports and why? Um, the competitiveness of it. I would say I'm a very competitive person, and I really like the team atmosphere also. All right. What is your favorite non-athletic memory at Anderson? I would say the bus rides with the team. It's really fun um, when we all get together for long bus rides. We have a lot of good conversation and play a lot of good music. All right. And then what is your favorite athletic memory at Anderson? Um, I would say freshman year when we made the conference tournament, that was really fun with the team going to the conference tournament and just the bus ride there and the game. All right, going into the um, team superlative type questions. First, who on the team is best dressed? Um, I would say Tess. She has a lot of um, clothes and a lot of cute outfits. Okay. Um, who on the team is the best dancer? Melanie. Okay. Who on the team is the joker, prankster, best sense of humor? Felicity. All right. Who on the team is most outgoing? I would say we're all pretty outgoing. Um, the one person I would say that talks to everybody on the team 24-7 and just make sure everyone is included in everything and brings us all together is Brooke. Okay. Um, who on the team is the best trash talker? We don't really have like a trash talker, I would say. We do have someone before every game that like pumps us up for our home games and tells us the right things at the right time. And that's Amani, our athletic trainer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, who is the, and who is the pre-game DJ? Hamena. All right. And then what is the team's go-to pre-game song? Um, we don't really have one at this point. We're working on that, but I would say we just play a lot of good music right before the game, but right now we're working on a pregame song. All right. Um, going into the next segment of questions. First, what is your favorite season? Fall. All right. And then what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, my favorite ice cream flavor is cake batter. Okay. Um, what is your favorite movie? The Patriot. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? A horse. They're my favorite animal. Right. What is your favorite candy? Kit Kats. Okay. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any pets? If so, what kind and what are their names? I have three dogs. One is a Yorkie Poo, and then the other two are two mini petite golden doodles, Wrigley and Maggie. Okay. Um, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is steak. Yeah, I I would agree with you there. Do you got a do you got a preference on the um, cut and the um, the how well it's cooked? I like medium well, and I usually just get a six ounce sirloin. Okay. Um, have you ever traveled outside the country, and if so, where? Yeah, I've been to Guatemala and the Cayman Islands. All right. Um, if And then if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would say Machu Picchu in Peru. That just looks really mm -hmm. cool. I'd like to go there. Yeah, um, I've... Any, anybody I've seen that's traveled there said they really like it. Like it. Yeah. Um, and then what is your favorite thing to do outside of volleyball? 
I would say hang out with my friends and my family. That's really important to me to make time for them too. Okay. Um, so what are your favorite hobbies then? My favorite hobbies, I like to go boating um, and I like to hike um, and play with my dogs a lot. I like to take them. There's a dog park by my neighborhood that I take them to and they love going there. So it's fun to do with them. All right. Um, what is a little known but amazing fact about yourself? Um, I'm a fourth generation legacy at Anderson. All right. When, um, well, if that's the case, do you know, do you know the years that your previous generations were? Yeah. So I just know, so my parents were there from like 1988 to 1992, I think. Okay. And then my grandparents were there. I don't know when they were there, but I know my great grandparents were there like kind of when it first started. When Anderson first started. All right, and that I would imagine that it, that would that ties into the next question and why you chose AU. Yeah, it does, and also for the national security major and President Pistol being here was a big factor for me. All right, um, what is your favorite class at AU and why? Um, I would say research and methods with Dr. Post. Um, we got to learn a lot about how to research things and. Um, we got to, I did, got to do a project on lone wolf terrorism, and that was really cool to learn about. Okay, and then who is your favorite professor and why? Um, I would say Dr. Post, because she pushes me to be um, the best I can be, and she shows us what it's going to take for us to be able to get into um, the career we want to get into. Okay, um, what, is your, um, what, are, what are your plans after graduation? My plans after graduation are still kind of up in the air right now. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's best and I'm trying to find an internship for next summer right now and I'm hoping I can move to DC after graduation and get a job there and eventually I would like to be in the FBI but it's going to take a few like a little while to get there. All right and then what and then finally what do you want your lasting legacy to be at AU? Um, I would say I want my lasting legacy to be that I was a hard worker, um, that I was resilient, and a great teammate and showed Christ's love to everyone. All right. Well, I think I've um, covered all the questions um, that I want. Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. Alexis, thank you for doing this interview with us. Um, be sure to follow thank along with, me. Um, with more Spotlight Ravens series interviews. We'll have another one soon, so we will see you then. Thank you.